What is happening, guys? Cowboy here. Welcome back. And we're going back down to the labs. So, still gotta get quarantine access, even though we picked up, like, five quarantine cards. I plan on just beating my way over there. I'm going to beat my way through. This is through. a reminder that the bottles marked alcohol contain isopropyl alcohol and not ethyl alcohol, and consequently do not go well with tonic water and ice. Uh, oh, nothing there. I really need. I don't think I really need to like loot anything at this point. So that was rather disappointingly inconclusive. However, our next electrode proved far more interesting. We thought that if we applied electrical stimulation to the broker's area, we might enable the subject to speak. The which would have proved floor obvious is currently under quarantine. We had a subject in if stage you need one access of the to the play, quarantine floor, just beginning to see Dr. Milton language. for a key card. We even had a linguist ready to translate. But will it be very odd result? I'll just Now, Dr. Hardy, why do you keep your key cards? Unfortunately, the panel on improving bedside... Ah, the key card. Off the quarantine I go. Yay. If you were interested in the panel... Just, uh, watching the day go by. Sophia Jacks Blake, as there is still time to reschedule. Oh no, is somebody getting sleepy? Chess. Am I being stupid, Arthur? Oh, what's wrong with this move? Checkmate, inform moves. How? I move my bishop here, so you would just have to go there. So, I put my rock here, so you could only move there. Or there? But then I could put my other rook here. Do you, do you see? What you want to do is go here. Why are you knocking your king down? Because I'm not playing you anymore. You're playing you. I can't hear you. Let's make some tea. Do you want to play again? Maybe in a little while. Oh, Arthur. Yes, Percy? What's a sore loser? Oh, touche. All right, set them up. We'll go again. I like playing chess with you, Arthur. Why are you not asleep? I said take a fucking nap! Go to bed! Now we see the violence inherent in the system. Ugh. <sighs> Get out, or I'll make you get out. Bang. Surprised, I figured there would be like some big reveal with the surgery or something. Come on, man. How long until the coconut joy takes effect? There we go. Lovely. Now, Dr. Brooks is going to bring in a series of disturbing stimuli. Hopefully, with the coconut joy I've given you, you won't be a bit bothered. We won't oh, no. actually see the stimuli, 
There's a blind between us and you, and a blind between you and the stimuli. It's what we call a double blind experiment. Off you go. Don't forget to write. <laughs> That's my little joke. I know you've forgotten how to write. That's not double blind means. Broadcast stack. tower, gravel quarantine, circus quarantine. See, I got I got a flush. It's funny when you get a uh, sub while you're out streaming Maze Lab, wherever you are out there. Thanks, my dude. It's a medicated bomb. Not the, uh, what's the fast run drug? Where's it at? Flash? Sorry, sir. 
The broadcast tower has been quarantined. Well, I think if you examine the gate, you'll see that it's been unquarantined. Oh, so it has. Well then, I'll just bugger off, shan't I? <laughs> Enjoy your visit. It's a lot of work just to get to Germany. And it's another fabulous day in Wellington Wells. The weather is I suppose it would be lovely to visit the old broadcast tower, but I do sort of need to get the hell out of Wellington Wells. I've got to go down. Wakey, wakey, everyone. Good morning. Oh, I was probably coming the off the joy they injected me with. Right. That cut thing. You can finally escape to the mainland. Are you ready? Once you go through these doors, Arthur will be done with any other adventures in Wellington Wells. Alright, well before that, in case I ever want to go back and do the side stuff, let me make a, a save. Did I did that save properly? Yes. Perfect. Alright, let's let's go. Find out what happens. I find out. I want the story. I think the rail tracks are just past those revolvers. Oh. oh. Ah, just taking a second to load on in. Jesus Christ, what the fuck is going on down here? Is this whole city gonna just explode? Go up there all night. I mean, I guess it makes sense that I'm in a cat suit right now. Because I'm basically cat man. Why does God hate me? Cat man is hungry, so he's gonna eat a carrot. in those fumes. Cat suit and a gas mask. Yeah, that doesn't look funny at all, right? Looks like I wasn't the first one here. Oh, shit. Prudence. Oh, we know what happened to Prudence now. The fuck is this? Christ, that's a lot of modeling. And away you go. Goodbye. Pick that. Man, I thought I was trying to get to the train, and instead it's just Montaline mine. This place is like, I don't know what the fuck is going on. I can get back to the tracks through the mines somehow. Like, it went from, like, you know, dystopian future, shit's kind of weird, to full on, like, what the fuck is going on. Oh, 
God damn it. <gasps> I didn't mean to use the bobby whistle. Oh, oh wait. Oh, I got... Damn it. Where's the flashlight at? Take my... Perfectly safe going into the mines. What are the odds they'll collapse again, eh? Look at that one. It's almost a oh god, it does look like a camel. Or a or a weasel. Yeah, Guys are just high as fuck down here, it sounds like. Hello. Do I know you? The, uh, executive committee asked me to see how things are going down here. About bloody time. I've been asking them for months. They think everything's peachy keen down here. It's not peachy keen, is it? I don't suppose you saw anyone working on the way in? Unless they were disguising it terribly well, no. They get dotty if they forget to go topside. The XCOM sent me to inspect the... The machine over there. The bucket wheel excavator. <laughs> oh, that is hilarious. Did you happen to notice a bloody great hole on your way in? That's because we delved too sloppily and too deep with that thing, and half the mine collapsed. I told the gang to stick to picks and shovels. We start that beast up again, the rest of the mine is going to collapse and take the entire bloody parade with it. That's quite alarming. Have you removed the activator? Ah, uh, no. The gang don't seem very interested in starting it up. Well, I think you'd better let me remove the activator. I don't want any accidents. Ah, uh, all right. You'll need my key card. I'll let them know you need relief. By God, you are the most on-the-ball person I've seen in years. Are you sure you're not a downer? Uh... <laughs> oh. <laughs> You're not bloody mule. Damn it. We can carry easily. Too much weight again. Hmm, blockbuster. And I need to drop more stuff. What can I drop? What can I parade and impress in the village? Um. Ugh, fuck, what do I... Alright, maybe the bennel bits. Drop a bit of those. Leather scraps. Or by weight. Can I, I... Really, what I need to do is I need to get back to town. Like, that weighs three. Like, I just need to pick up fucking nothing. Generates fog that slows you down. It uses up a gas mass faster than toxic fog. Oh. Uh, okay, fuck that then. I don't want those at all. Can't really see anything down here. And my guy's thirsty as well. This is regular tea, right? Yes, it is. Um, I thought, doesn't, don't you work? Um, like an actual drug, they've only rotten down. I would need such a drug. I don't know if I can get through a downer detector with these. Can I use this excavator thing to cross that abyss? I wonder how you turn it on. It's really foggy in here. You can't really see much. I've got it. 
What if you come with me? And I'm too old. What if I sneak you on the train? That's against... That's against the rules. Well, if we get caught, I'll just say there was a mix-up and you can play dumb. Are you sure? Remember how I snuck you on the camping trip? Didn't it work out brilliantly? Just trust me. I trust you, Arthur. I said I trust you, Arthur. We'll go to Germany together. We'll take care of each other, no matter what happens. See shit in this place. Are you cleaning the what, sir? <laughs> what have we come to? Well, I'll tell you what we came to. You got a fucking Bobby that's attacking you. You can't see shit down here. I don't care if this bitch collapses. I am going to see Percy. Oh, come on. Seriously? Can you just wait till I'm gone? Are you really doing this to find Percy? I mean, where would you even look for him? Is he even alive? Is he in Russia? How would you even get to Germany? I'm to skip free fair day. Top skippers. Constables should assume that any unauthorized person past this point is attempting to leave too Wells. This is clear evidence of mental derangement. Skippers are often complain of hunger. This is further evidence of psychosis induced from joy withdrawal. After subduing a would-be skipper, please render him to custody of Dr. Verloc at Hallworth Labs. Oh good. I'm finally back on the right track. Hmm. Charlie Woodcock, skipping is not a crime. You know where I'm going on holiday? Spain. You're doing this because you don't have a strong enough sense of self-preservation to leave Wellington Wells on your own account, aren't you? You need the guilt. Mr. Hastings. Just when I'd given up all hope of seeing an engineer. You know, sir, we've come to the end of our time. Some of us cut and run. Some of us stand by our post. Some of us take care of our brother. My brother? What are you saying? All men is brothers, sir. Right. Huh. Of course. Oh, damn thing so itchy. It's times like these what try men's souls, sir. They try men's souls. I... Who are you? Please keep your hands inside the train. It is very dangerous to You must get back on the train. the Arthur, windows of the train. Where'd you go? Arthur! You must get back on board! No, I'm just here to take my brothers to the train. No! Please, Arthur! No, 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 get off Mr. Please, no, Percival Hastings. No. 
that's me. Oh, Percy. No, People no, call me Percy. Please, no. Someone has written on this card that you were a bit dim. And you can't be roaming about on your own. You don't seem dim. Right, well, um, Mum thinks I can't... Mum no. thinks I can't... Mum thinks I can't take care of myself. But I can. What the fuck? To tell the truth, I really did want to go to Germany with my brother, Arthur. See, we, we'd sort of take care of each other. So I tried to sneak on, but then Arthur said, no, we have to follow the rules. Is that so? I'll just run along home. Mum's probably worried sick. Uh, can I go? Oh, this is a day we may all come to regret, Mr. Hastings. But I am not gonna put one more child on that train than my duty obligates me to do. Run along then. So he basically threw his brother on the train to get out of it? What the fuck, dude? Arthur. Sir, are you alright? I'll best be on my way. Dude, Arthur, what I the did fuck? Terrible. Oh, we have all done things we regret, sir. Some of them we regretted as we done them. Some of them never quite go away. I told him we'd go to Germany together. I told him I'd hold our passports and then I walked off the train with his passport. He didn't know how to talk to anyone but me. I can't make it up to him now. Can I? No, sir. I imagine you cannot. Then who is there to forgive me? Some try to forget. I can't do that. Not anymore. Well, I suppose you you must treat it as a gift to know who you are. Without that, there's no hope for wisdom. I wish I still believed in some sort of mercy. Life goes on. <laughs> that is the mercy. Come on, sir. Once you're out there, you'll know what to do. Arthur had all kinds of shit wrong. I can't believe he threw his basically, basically threw his autistic brother on the bus to get out of going to Germany. Talk about some fucked up shit, man. Anyway, that is going to wrap up for now. Act 2 is starting with Sally. We'll be jumping into that a little bit later today. So stay tuned, and we'll catch you guys then as we get to see the story from another perspective.